Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this file a couple of days ago, and uh, I think some people helped them, helped her, or helped them. And then they actually, I saw they posted the file. So maybe they didn't figure it out yet. When vectorizing these parts, I think she left out the P goes in. And what it is right there, and all it is is an extra node. So all you have to do is click on that extra node and hit delete. It's that simple. Now there's one more up here. Same thing. It's got an extra node. And you could delete either one of them, but this is going to be the better one because it's going to make that curvature into a straight line. Now I noticed a couple of things when I was playing around with this. This one is a solid line. This one is broken lines. So if you wanted to see if both those are the same, you could do this. You could take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Let's nudge it over or just move it over. And then left click, right click in red. Get rid of our smart fill now. Get rid of that old, old lines. See, it was made up of many lines. Hit P on the keyboard. Put it in the center of the page. Get your new one. I purposely left them different colors. They're a little bit off. So if you're using both parts, so the purple is actually on the outside. And I don't know which one's right, which one's wrong, but I would pick one of them and use one of them. This one looks like it actually slopes in a little bit right here. But it's only got one node there. Now what you could do, and we'll try it, is to take your smart or your node shape tool, select that node and select this node and right click and turn them into a line. But I don't like the way it did the top. It's going to turn that into a line. So just disregard that. Uh, there's ways around that, but either one of them look pretty good. I don't know what this is for. But when you have those extra nodes, it just doesn't do you any help or do you any good. I think my red one is actually better. Um, the lines are straight. Let's see how many nodes are in this corner. See, it's got three nodes on each end, so they're, it's pretty good. Now, it does have an extra node here and here, but that doesn't really matter. It's where it was joined. You could get rid of that node. When there's two nodes so close together, they'll from a distance, they'll be stacked like that. One of them will be off the page. It's not going to really cause you any problems, but you could delete it. Don't need it. Especially if you're going to cut a lot of them. And these nodes are so close together, but if it works, it works. Let's use the Smart Fill tool to fill that in. And there you go. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.